I am always amazed at what motivates a donor to make a gift. Sometimes it is a personal experience. They have, they have lived with cancer and there is the need to give back for the help that they have received from the Virginia Piper Cancer Institute. Many times it is because of friends and family. They are overwhelmed that their loved one has gotten such a wonderful um, support system from Virginia Piper. It should not be surprising because it is continuous, but I am always surprised by the great generosity of people that we never knew. Who was Virginia Piper? She was a gentle person, yet strong and powerful, a gifted community leader and an intensely devoted wife to Bobby and mother to Harry, David, and Tad. She was a peacemaker yet unafraid to make waves. In 1961, Virginia joined the board of Northwestern Hospital and in 1964 became chair of the board. Eventually, she became chair of the Abbott Northwestern Hospital Board after the two hospitals merged. Virginia was the ideal leader for this transitional time, building consensus and inspiring others with her vision. Her goal was quite simply, the best possible care for patients and their families. After Ginny's death from cancer in 1988, contributions to the hospital poured in. Her husband Bobby and key leaders of the hospital knew that there was an urgent need for a first-rate cancer center at Abbott Northwestern, and they began planning for a fitting tribute to Virginia. In 1993, five years after Ginny's death, the Virginia Piper Cancer Institute opened. Today, 25 years later, VPCI is all Bobby hoped it would be, and more, serving tens of thousands of people each year, improving and saving lives. It all began when I was on a business trip, and um, I found the tumor myself. Um, I had had a mammogram three months before, so I would just tell anybody that the self-check is something that I cannot stress enough. Dr. Bretsky is the first doctor that I saw. They ended up taking a biopsy, and you wait for those two treacherous days. I got the phone call when I was in my office. Um, Dr. Bretsky called, and she said, um, are you somewhere where you can talk? And I thought, oh boy, this, is, this is, might not be a, such a good thing. So Dr. Bretsky said, Trish, we did find breast cancer. There were days where you just got to put one foot in front of the other. I had one moment very early on when I was in my daughter's bedroom and I was making her bed. And I heard my husband and my two kids in the kitchen and I remember thinking to myself, that this can't be my time. This cannot be my time, because I can't leave my, my family like this. And so um, that was my one moment. That was my one weak moment. And um, after that, I said, um, I'm going to own this. I'm not going to let it own me. And that's what I did. I know that celebrating the champion within is the theme of the medicine ball. And whether it's the patient, whether it's the physicians, the surgeons, the oncologists, the radiologists, and your friends and your family, everyone is a champion, I should say. Whether they're, they're on your team or whether it's you yourself, we all have to champion a cause, whatever part we play. And so um, that's, that's really, um, um, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Virginia Piper was, in my experience, mostly a very good friend. She welcomed me to my husband's family. She is his aunt and made it a lot of fun for me to be part of a broad gang. There were five sisters and let me tell you, they kept things lively at all times. <laughs> oh, they were fun. They were all fun. The five sisters gathered for their parents' 50th wedding anniversary one summer. 
and it took exactly a day and a half before their father ordered them all to go home. They were fighting nonstop with each other. <laughs> they were just a crew that can hardly be all beautiful like Jenny. She's a very beautiful woman, but a very warm and engaging person. She made everybody feel comfortable. We owe a debt of gratitude to the Piper family for their inspiration in starting the Virginia Piper Cancer Institute. Prior to its existence, really most people would go elsewhere for cancer care. And now we all know that right here in our community is a place where our friends and families can be treated for this horrible disease and their families can be with them and yet be able to go home and sleep in their own beds at night. It's a huge comfort. Not many families can say that for 57 years they have been devoted to the cause of improved health care in our community. But that is the story of the Piper family. Who was Virginia Piper? She was a champion, a champion for us all. Who are the Pipers? They are champions, champions for us all. And to each of you, I say thank you. We are celebrating you, our champions, of love, hope, and compassion. Thank you.